Hola, how is everyone? I hope good. I'm Sunny with Healing Power Divine Universe, and I am here with a reading on what do people find attractive about you? What do strangers find attractive about you? Um, let's see what people find to be attractive about you. Before I get started, I ask if you hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification so you're notified when I upload more videos, hit that like button, and share this video if you think others can benefit from my messages. If you're wondering about my eye, it is doing a lot better. Um, if you don't know what's going on with it, I my eye hemorrhaged. So it was swollen almost completely shut. And so it's gradually getting healed. I still look kind of monstrous, so I do apologize. But what do I do? Live life, right? Let's get started. First card I pulled is faith. People find you to be full of faith. That you have faith in yourself, in the decisions that you're making, I'm hearing, in love. You have uh, faith in the higher power, faith that any type of injustices will be made right, faith that the truth will come out, and faith that you'll be abundant. But you have faith. Your faith is so strong that people find that to be very attractive about you. You can see beyond illusions. You are probably a psychic, you're probably clairvoyant, you're probably very connected to the divine or somebody you know. You, just could, you could be cross-watching this, even though you're supposed to be finding what out or finding out what people find attractive about you. Um, <clears throat> I feel that if you're not, you are a person that is definitely going to go down a journey that is gonna be a you're gonna be able to see beyond illusions. Um <clears throat> I think each and every one of us can, as long as we have faith and we believe. But a lot of people fear are fearful of like what I see. Even when you try to talk about it, talk about it to people, try to explain it to people, people look at you like you're nuts. Um, so be it. Uh, I feel that if you're drawn to my channel, you watch my channel. You probably know I'm very psychic. Um, you probably do believe in this or you're very curious about it. So that's why you are drawn to my channel. We have Libra, the idealist. Harmonizes, cooperative, balanced, social aware, artistic, people pleasing, fair, idealistic, choosy, aspirational, graceful, considerate, obligating, indecisive, judgmental, and flattering. They find you to be attractive because of all of those things, even though you're not a Libra. I also ask Spirit which signs are attracted to you, and Libra is one of them. We have seventh house relating, partners, companionship, best friends, marriage, relationships, opposition, sharing, justice, balance, social aware. This is a sign of Libra again. So a Libra is very, very attracted to you. We have, who in the world are you? Getting to know the you, new you. Excuse me, I can't talk. So either somebody watching this needs their throat chakra cleansed or I need mine. But I feel like I'm, I'm kind of stuttering because um, maybe there is some people that are very attracted to you and you make them stutter when they talk or they have a hard time opening up around you or they're so in awe of you, it makes them stumble on their words. Who in the world are you getting to know the new you? I think that you have gone through a humongous transformation. I think that you were, you know, one person and then with a blink of an eye, you are completely different. I feel that you do that a lot in your life. And I think that really attracts a lot of people. Um, you might be a little different looking. This girl in this card is dresses differently. She kind of stands out. It could be your, the way that you look at people. They could be attracted to your, the shape of your face, the, your lips. See how full her lips are? Her nose, you might have a button nose and maybe big eyes that really draw people in. But I, I think that you dress differently than most people. And I think that really attracts people to you also. We have the hangman sign of Virgo. So a Virgo could be definitely attracted to you. The hangman is, is that you, you pretty much remain in one position. 
until the time's right. You, you're not afraid to wait around for the right opportunity to come to you. The uh, initials RMB could definitely be provident in this reading because I just noticed those on this card. And I don't think I've ever noticed that before. But you're definitely the type of person that, you know, you, you wait around for the right opportunities. You wait around for that right love offer. You're not going to settle for anything less than what you deserve. And you don't mind being in this hangman position waiting for it. So you have a lot of patience. We have the Eight of Cups, which is, which is a sign of Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. I love this uh, deck. The illustrations are just phenomenal on them. I love it. Um, the Eight of Cups is abandoning a path, disillusionment, mentally unfulfilled. So maybe you abandoned a path that was that really was making you un are emotionally unfulfilled. Maybe you cut a bunch of people out of your life. Maybe you left a marriage that you might have been in for a very long time. Maybe you walked away from a family member or children. And people find that attractive because, for one thing, it's hard to walk away from anything or anyone that we love. At times, it's really hard for us to put our emotional fulfillment above anyone else's. I do think it's been a long road that way. I think that for a very long time in your life, you were very un emotional. You were emotionally unfulfilled. And I think it really just made you depressed, made you even, you might have even had addictions that were really keeping you down, that were really kind of fucking up your life a little bit. Because that's what addictions do. I mean, I'm going to be honest. I I am a recovering addict. And, you know, my addictions really... I, I can still say that, you know, when I was doing stuff, I was functioning. But truly, do we really function when we have addictions? Probably not. I thought I was. I thought that I felt better when I was either drinking or doing some kind of drug. And that's not the case. I actually feel so much better... Now that I don't have to do that every single day of my life. Now, do I still drink? Yeah, I do. I go out and I still drink, but I know my limit. How, you know, do I use drugs? Well, I smoke pot every once in a while. It's not something I need or have to have each day to get my day going. Um, so I don't want to be a hypocrite and say, you know, sobriety, sobriety. Well, really what it is is us controlling our addictions. It doesn't matter if it's drug or, or alcohol. It doesn't matter if it's you're addicted to sex. It's whenever we do something uh, too much of anything. I mean, it could be eating. It could be sleeping. It could be, you know, negative thinking. And I think people find it very attractive that you, you have learned to emotionally fill yourself because you have really not received any true love. Or at least you don't feel like you've ever been truly loved. I think you are a person that would give and give and give and give, but you weren't receiving shit back. Which was causing illusions in your life. Or you were creating these illusions like everything was okay. And if you would just keep giving and you would give and give and give and give more, then everything would be okay. But really, it made your life look like this card. Utter chaos and just... Like wanting to rip your fucking hair out some days and just feeling really down because you're giving so much to other people but nobody's giving anything back to you. Healing begins. So because you you maybe did break those addictions, maybe you stopped masking your pain and your hurt so you could heal from whatever traumas you've gone through in the past. People really do look up to you because of that because most people don't want to feel pain. None of us want to face the shit that we've done to cause problems in our life. And then we don't want to face what our parents did to us or <coughs> siblings, excuse me, or even our own children. Um, it's easier just not to, to recognize that stuff. It's easy to just kind of do something to keep it bottled down inside. But in reality, we really need to fill those pains. We really need 
to face our demons, our darkness, um, what has been done to us, if anything. You know, this is only if it resonates with you. Not every little card is going to resonate with every person. Um, but they find it very attractive that you you are doing this. You might also be a healer. And they feel like healing begins when they they associate with you. There's something about you that helps people heal. Or if not... Or this, like I said, not every card's going to resonate with every person. I'm not saying everybody in this chat on this channel that's watching this is a healer, because I don't believe that. Um, and then, like being psychic, you know, they say everyone's psychic. Um, I don't believe that either. I think everyone has intuition. Now, is it strong? Um, it, yeah, but is every like vision that people see in reality really? psychic abilities no there is you know schizophrenics there are people that are mentally crazy um does it mean that people that are clairvoyant are crazy absolutely not we have the chariot sign of cancer you're not afraid to board that fucker and just get on there and go forward you are uh, like your picture should be on this fucking card because you're not afraid to move on towards something better in your life, if that's what you need to be. You're not afraid to walk away from people you love. You're not a walk, afraid to walk away and not have anything to go to. You are this, this chariot. And I'm not saying that you run from your problems because I don't feel like you do. But you're not afraid to leave something that is not serving your highest good anymore. And people find that very attractive because a lot of people will never do that in their lifetime. They stay stuck. But people need to understand we're not here to be fucking miserable. We're not here to be pissed off. We're not here to be drugged down by drugs and alcohol and sex and whatever else we do too much of. We're not here not to smile each day and or open the door and see the beauty of the world we live in. Or to connect with a person and not be so fucking afraid to show your emotions and just be kind and gentle and just be yourself around them. You know, all the traumas that, that we have endured throughout our lives up till now fuck with us each and every day because we're afraid to heal from them because we mask them with shit. And we don't want to feel the pain that it creates, but that's what we're here to experience. That's part of being a human being. And you're you're not afraid to jump on this fucking chariot and leave. A situation when there's there's nothing good there for you. We have the base chakra. Now the base is the first and main chakra. And is the base to your feelings, your pleasure, your pain. And is directly linked to your interest in life and your sex drive. I think that you are very connected to your base chakra. I think you are a person that isn't afraid to show their emotions to anyone. Um, you're definitely in life. You want to feel pleasure in every way. And I'm not saying just sexually. There's a lot of pleasure in life. You might really overindulge in food because you get pleasure from it. You might like to, to go to expensive restaurants and indulge in like very expensive food because it gives you much pleasure. Um, you know, you have a lot of interests that you really go for and you're not afraid to to try something new. And if you're interested in something or someone, you're not afraid to tell them. Um, and then your sex drive. I truly think that what it is, is you're waiting for that one special person to come riding in on their chariot, maybe. Or maybe somebody did. But there's, there's difficulty in that sex because it's not feeling very true to you. Because maybe that person isn't on the same level as you yet. Maybe that person overindulges and it's kind of a turnoff. Not meaning that you don't like them. But maybe it's just like, well, that's not the kind of sex I want to have. You know, I'm, you know, everybody can have that raw, just nasty, you know, painful, like, you know whatever sex but it takes it it takes 
two people to come together and really make love and really enjoy it without being on drugs or alcohol, without, you know, having to go sleep with everybody on the block. And you know what I'm saying. I'll move on from that, though. Mysticism. Again, you are connected. You are a psychic. You are very intuitive. People find you very mystical and very, very mysterious. That's what attracts them to you. But they know this is you. And they find that to be very attractive. Maturity. You're a very mature person. I think that, you know, this pile, this um, reading, I think this has been a, a journey that you have created in your life. And I think that not only are you attractive on the inside, but you may be very attractive on the outside, which attracts them to you, but they they fall for you because you're very mystical, because you're very dark. Not dark. I don't want to say, well, you could be dark, but you, you're not. You glow like, like a, the sunbeam. You are very, you know, happy. You're very, you know, confident. Um, you've let your battles and all your wounds finally come out and finally heal from them. And you went from being probably somebody that lived closer to the dark than in the light and without your experiences and with age, don't get me wrong. As we mature, as we are this card, things do start making sense. You do start thinking, you know, holy shit, if I could only have thought that way in my twenties, you know, damn, where would I be in life? But unfortunately we gain wisdom, you know, with each age that we live. We have 11th house, the edge, Friendship, group creativity, community, humanity, hope, tribe, festivals, discovers, common goals, startups, rebellion, experimentation, the future. This is a sign of Aquarius. So there's an Aquarius that's attracted to you. Investigate, or investigate, excuse me. Look closely, ask questions, think before acting. So you are that person. You really investigate who the people are around you. And, you know, and it's not meaning maybe you go in there and start, you know, asking questions. But I think that you are so, you're able to really read people. You think before you take action because you're like, what am I getting myself into? Because you probably didn't You do that in your, your younger days. But now you have gained so much wisdom, it makes you stop and think. Um, you ask questions about other people. You want to know about their lives. You want to really get to know them. You want people to be honest with you. And if, you know, uh, maybe people want to ask you questions, but you really look closely. I feel like you can pretty much see through anyone or anything that, that really comes your way that is trying to offer you something. You're really looking close. You're not just jumping on the next fucking freight train to wherever because you've already been on that freight train. And so now you kind of sit back and you watch and people know that you can, that you're, that's what you're doing. And they really can feel that energy and it does attract them to you because you really could tell a person about who they are just by meeting them one time. And I think it would floor them. Maybe that's a strong gift of yours. The next one I have is the Knight of Moss, which is the Knight of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I'm going to be reading these ones out of the uh, book because I like the meanings of this deck. It is get ready for a surge of energy and ideas. When the night of moss appears, everything speeds up and you will not have to wait much longer to reach your goals. As a potential partner, this night comes into your life like a whirlwind and you will have no doubt about his feelings for you. In general, this card may predict the arrival of a visitor. So, people feel this way about you. People want to come riding in like a knight with this fire energy. And they just, they want to to offer you something. They want to have you in their life. Um, they're attracted to you, like, in every single way. If they're, you know, somebody that is attracted to you in the sense of like 
sexually, romantically, because attraction comes, again, in so many different ways. You know, you could have people that are attracted to you because they want your friendship or, you know, they you're a very intelligent person and so on. So, but typically, you know, attraction is, it, it could be a lot of sexual attraction. And I'm sure that you do have that because you, you seem like you draw in a lot of people, which is pretty fucking cool. So we have the Five of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is conflict. This is quarreling. This is competition. So people are attracted because this might be something that you go through a lot with people because there could be a lot of competition. You could create a lot of jealousy with other people that make them want to compete against you because you are such an attractive person. People are very drawn to you, but I also think it it draws in jealousy and envy and then competition. So, But people find that attractive about you because... People are always wanting to compete against you, but they can't quite hit your level is what I'm hearing. So let me boost your confidence because that's what I'm hearing. Find balance. You are balance. You can balance every area of your life. You are balancing work. You're balancing bills. You're balancing stress. You know, you, you just balance everything. Like it's nothing. People are like, how does that person do that? That person's going through so much. That person's still happy. That person's still smiling. That person's still moving forward. And when they know, if they find out what you've been through, they're like, holy fuck, you know, how is this person still even moving? You know, some of you, not all of you, but we have the magician, sign of Aquarius and Gemini. This is when you have all the backings of the elements, earth, fire, um, water, air. You are a magician. You probably are a wizard or a witch and people know it. And they find that very attractive. They find you to be very, very powerful. That you, you are a magician. That you pretty much can manifest and create whatever you want in your life. And they they might be attracted because maybe they think that they, you could do this for them. Maybe they think that you use spells on yourself to gain things in your life. Whatever they, they want to think. Um, maybe you do. But the people find that to be attractive. They might, might also, you might not be afraid of snakes. I don't know. Or maybe it's that you see the snakes that are around you. Because look at the snakes around this magician. Also, I noticed this cup. So maybe you like to indulge once in a while and people find that attractive about you. If you look right here. Maybe, you know, you probably are a witch. And maybe you like knives. You don't have to. But maybe you own a knife. I don't know. But you're, you're powerful. You're not afraid to move on. You're like, you know what? You're, this isn't serving my highest good. Uh, people treat me like shit. Whatever it is, you're like, fuck this. You know, I'm moving on. I'm not afraid to pick up and move on. And I, that is very attractive because a lot of people, again, stay stuck in the same fucking rut, in the same, you know, mindset, in the same emotions for their whole fucking life. Oh, my God. Excuse me, God. Um, that just seems painful and it just seems exhausting. And it just seems like such a waste of what we are really here to do, what our purpose is here. A miracle. You create miracles in your life or they look at you like you are a miracle. They might look at you like you are this big ball of light, that you're this miracle, that you are gifted, that you are um, d directly connected to the higher power, that you are an earth angel brought here to create miracles in in your life with the people around you. Um, may, you know, they could think that you you're able to to move out of really shitty things in your life, conflict and quarreling straight into miracles. I mean, but you know what? If that, you know, and I do feel like this is the case because you're very connected. You're very spiritual. Um, you are, you're, you were sent here to be who you are. You are this fucking miracle. And that's how people view you. Again, being a miracle also brings in a lot of jealous hate, envy, dark magic, the devil, all kinds of stuff. So 
people find that to be very attractive. All of it that I just said about you. You have trust. You totally have trust in the divine. You would jump out of a plane if the divine told you to. And that's not being crazy. That's how much trust you have in the divine. You know the divine will totally free you from whatever obstacles that are put in your way. For whatever challenges. For whatever people hurting you or whatever's going on in your life. You know for a fact and you trust 1000% in the higher power. And people find that attractive. Because they want to do the same thing. When truly that's why you are so powerful is because you can truly say, when the divine tells me something my, in my, through my intuition, it, I, I listen. I don't care how crazy it sounds. I don't care if people think I'm crazy. I don't care if people understand or not. Because I know that the higher power only provides good things for me. Square challenge creates tension, stalls, sounds the alarm, motivates, pressures into, frustrates, demands, struggles, hurts, works out, and recognizes. Cancer and Aries. All must have prizes trying to please everyone. Maybe you are a people pleaser. But you know what? I don't think it's because you you try to be. It's just who you are. You're so kind and gentle that you do please people. People know that that they can always count on you, that you you know you would help them, that you would love them like this little girl's loving this whatever the fuck it is. Um, you know, they also find your eyes to be totally attractive, not when they look like mine, I'm sure, but your eyes. They find your hair to be beautiful, again the shape of your face, your lips, your nose, your makeup. They just they're very attracted to you on that inside and out. <coughs> We have the lover's card, Gem, sign of Gemini. Um, this is, you have many choices in love. This is, and they people find that attractive. And you might not see it. You might not even know it. You might have people so attracted to you that you, you know, you're such a nice person that you're nice to everybody. And I think it, it does attract a lot of people. Because a lot of people aren't used to that. And they might think that you're kind of flirting with them or trying to hit on them or whatever. And, and in reality, you're just being nice. But they do see that you have a lot of choices and people find that to be attractive. How would you not find that attractive? Because you know that how many other people want you or you know those people do. If that makes sense. We have the temperance card. You're not. You're always willing to compromise. You're always willing to um, compromise. Um, heal. This is like healing from traumas. This is a sign of Sagittarius, so a Sagittarius could be attracted to you. But the temperance is like you have a lot of patience, a lot of moderation, a lot of compromise, balancing, and healing. And that people find that extremely attractive. And truthfully, who wouldn't? Because what a beautiful energy you give off. Sadness and isolation. So you, you're not afraid to go into sadness and isolation because you are not afraid anymore to... To heal from the wounds that you had. But I feel like you spent a lifetime in this sadness and isolation. You were this person for many years. Maybe even from a childhood till right now. And this is who you have became. And that really attracts a lot of people. Because a lot of people are right here. And they cannot seem to get the fuck out of here. And they watched you go from here to being this person. And that is amazing. We have the Wheel of Fortune. This is the life, or the Wheel of Life. where It's always constantly fucking moving. And what people love about you is you can be down here and be struggling and be homeless or anything that really has hindered your life. But within a blink of an eye, you're fucking right here. And they know it's because you have trust in the higher power. They know that you are very connected. They know who the fuck you are. They know that you are this miracle. And that you are you a are very gifted person. And people in the past might have made fun of you. People might have thought you were schizophrenic, crazy. Um, everything that you could think of negative 
of what you truly are, which is this fucking miracle. People thought the opposite. But you know what? The universe, ain't your angels, guides, ancestors, they all fucking made people see who you were. And the last card I pulled is positive movement forward. Like I said, you were here and you're right there. And that's positive movement forward. With that being said, that is what people find attractive about you. Um, I hope that you enjoyed the reading. I love you all so very much. Peace.